Previously on The Witcher 1. The witch hides within. Let the eternal fire consume her sinful body, and we'll be rid of the beast. Not so fast. <laughs> I've enough strength for the two of you. Oh no! Grab the pitchfork! Sergeant, that witch you see, the one I told you about. Is this the man we want? Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. It's that filthy freak, the Witcher. He asked who's allowed into the city. Then came with a letter of safe conduct from the Order. Well, if that's a knight of the Order, then I'm Princess Ada. Son of a bitch. Hey, let me out of here. I'm innocent. Those five pounds of fist tech were for personal use. Hey, you. Jailer. At least move me. I don't want to be with the politicals. Politics makes you rot. I'm a decent thief. Let me out. Shut your trap. I'm busy. Jethro, keep it down. You're looking to kill me? That thief's bugging me. Thief, right. And I'm here with the politicals. Scandalous. I said shut up. Stop screaming or on my mother's life I'll bloody smash your junky mouth. Absa fucking lootly beautiful. What's your problem, Whitey? You wanna dance to Vizeman? Come on, I wanna see your hands in the air. Jethro, open the cell. Ooh, scared. Soft as butter. Come on, Whitey, what you got? Back off. What, you wanna fight or not? Professor. Move it. You're free. How ironic. Our paths cross again. So near and yet so far. Fear not, Witcher. We'll meet again. I assure you. You're making a mistake. This man's a murderer. You fail to grasp the basic rules governing this world. You're a genetically modified murderer with no place in modern society. But we'll tend to that problem next time. Farewell. I can't wait. Well then, that was quite the intro, wasn't it? The good news is we've reached our goal. We're officially in Viziba. The bad news is that we're, uh, you know, locked up in a cell because of racism Ooh, just thinking about it makes me go mad Ooh, makes my blood boil <laughs> all right all right okay okay now now that we release some stress let's get back on track and uh we need to find a way to all right you maggots the king and his mercy will pardon whoever subdues the cockatrice in the sewers. Well, isn't that awfully convenient? It's almost as if the game would have been real boring if we just had to wait in jail with no way to get out. The professor just does the wet work. If you want to be effective, you'd strike at his boss. Though I doubt you'd succeed. He's a big player. He has... Concession. Concession. This is honestly peak comedy here. I'll find him. First, you gotta survive your meeting with the cockatrice. Watch my belongings. I'll be back, and I'll want everything returned. Alright, let's go kill this rapscal here. Damn, my guy's feasting! Bone apple teeth, my bro! Oop. Oh no, I, th I think- I, I don't think Geralt is wishing you bone apple teeth. I think Geralt wants to in fact cut off your teeth. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I'm so sorry about that bro. Sorry about that. That was really just so unnecessary too, like, why did I have to do that? That guy was just chilling. Like, come on, man. Oh, you're a witcher? Oh, indeed. you're a twin? White hair, vertical pupil, signs of mutation. Skip the medical exam. Forgive me, I meant no harm. I'm Siegfried. A Knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose. I'm Geralt. I've heard much praise concerning the combat skills of witches. If you don't mind, I have some work to do down here, and I'd like to get it done fast. A cockatrice, correct? That's why I'm here. Let's talk. Yes? No, I've actually changed my mind. Let's not talk. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, because I actually did talk to him, but he was just being very boring, so I'm just going to summarize what he said. Basically, his name is Siegfried, and he's from the Order of the Flaming Rose, which should ring a thousand alarm bells for those who played The Witcher 3. But in short, there are a bunch of knights who do the same thing that witchers do, i.e. kill monsters, but they are sponsored by the state, so they do it for free. Meanwhile, witchers need to bargain prices for each commission they take up, on top of having to deal with systemic racism, which probably makes it so they also have to pay off a lot more for day-to-day -day services. So basically, Order of the Flaming Rose, more like Order of the Laming Hose, let's go, we don't like him, they're taking our jobs away, those gosh darn immigrants. Anyways, this guy's chill though, we like Siegfried, he's got a head on his shoulders and he also looks like the average Canadian male, so we're working with him. Oh, there we go. Alright, 
Now sit back and watch as the best Witcher 1 player in the world, i.e. me, execute this greater cockatrice. Beautiful, masterful dodge backwards, wait for Siegfried to engage, pause the game, pick Igni from the left side screen, go in, use Igni, okay, decent damage, I'm knocked back, I'm into the wall, but that's fine, that's fine, I need to, I need to get out of the wall, but you know, Siegfried got this, Siegfried, okay, Siegfried gets, Siegfried does not really got this, he's kind of dead, but it's fine, I make it out of the corner, boom, combo one, okay, I'm kind of missing my combos, that's fine, oh, I need to recuperate for a moment, okay, let me heal, this guy's a real gentleman, watch this guy, I'm just, I'm just going up, he's letting me heal, he's so chill, anyways, I've healed, I'm back in the fight. Boom. I'm gonna combo one. Okay, I'm gonna combo two. Oh, okay. No, I need to dodge that attack. Okay, I didn't really dodge that, but that's fine. Boom. Combo one. Okay, I'm back in it. Combo two. Okay, look at me go fast. Combo three. Let's go. Combo four. Oh my god, I'm incredible. I'm knocked back, but that's alright. That's alright. Look, that was incredible. That was cool. And now I'm going back at it. I use Arn. He's low HP. I execute him, and it's easy as pie. Look at that. Simple as pimple. And Secret is back up on his two feet. He wasn't even dead. He was just playing dead. He's like a little raccoon. The is dead. Now, where was the exit? I don't think I can go back the way I came. Come, I'll lead you to the exit. Take the cockatrice's head. Vincent pays well for trophies. Very well, though it reeks. That door leads out of the sewers. So, this is where we part. But... Quiet, I hear footsteps. Indeed, we are supposed to part ways with Siegfried, but we get ambushed by a bunch of the Salamandra. Which means that they knew that we were going to be here in the sewers. Which is kinda weird because the only people who knew we were going to be in the sewers are the people who we encountered back at the jail. So that means that there are a limited number of suspects who might be giving out our location to the Salamandra. So Twincast here says that he knows a detective right here in Vizima. So we're gonna go meet him and try to solve this mystery before it gets out of hand. Let's get out of here. Here's the key for the passage to town. A few days ago, I locked the door to keep the cockatrice in. Thanks. I'd rather not go back the way I came. Oh, he also gives us a key to go directly to the city from the sewers without having to go through the jail. Which is cool, but I mean, kind of unfortunate because I really wanted to see my boy. Jethro, keep, keep it down, down. you're looking, looking to, to kill me! It's unnecessary. We're on the same side, Witcher. You'll realize this one day. Farewell, and thanks. Zima's temple quarter. Whores, murderers, and beggars. So the Mandra's base must be near. So we give the detective guy a little visit, and obviously the first thing I do is go through all of his stuff and start looting because I'm a fucking witcher, that's what I do. Anyway, so he's upstairs sleeping, so I'll wake him up because I'm more important than his well, little well, beauty well, sleep that he's well, got going on right now, and ask him about the men with the salamander symbol. A warrior like no other, your legend precedes you. How can I help? I'm interested in the people who wear salamander pins. Just so happens I know a thing or two. Before I go on, I wouldn't mind knowing what your interest in the case is. So we basically tell this guy that Azar Javed, we're gonna find him, and his ass, we're gonna kick it. And he's like, ooh, Azar Javed, I don't like that guy either, so I'm gonna help you out in this case. And then he starts telling us his entire life story, where Azar Javed came to his house one day for no apparent reason, murdered his wife, mutilated his dog, and kidnapped his 10-year-old boy with a sixth toe. The, the kid's toe is very important to the story, bear with me here, I know it's kind of weird for me to be talking about like the 10-year-old boy's sixth toe, which is kind of gnarly, but like it's kind of weird for me to be talking about it, but it's very relevant to the story, just bear with me here. And like years later, everyone's forgotten about this whole situation, except the guy himself obviously, because it's his family that got fucked. There's a monster that's found in the dumpster, and everyone sees the monster and they're like, oh look at that ugly monster, what a silly little ugly monster. But this guy looks at the monster and he's like, what the monster has the same sixth toe as my 10 year old boy that was kidnapped like years ago by Azar Javed. So he concludes that Azar Javed, this sick freak, spends his free time mutating 10 year old boys, maybe specifically with six toes. This is like a very small control group that we have like this is just this one situation where he did that we don't actually know if Azar Javed like does this regularly or if he just did it like this one time because he was kind of you know bored on a Saturday night anyways let's just assume he's a sick freak because we're gonna kill him anyways and he just spends his free time mutating boys which I'm all for having a hobby okay go for it king but like that's kind of weird don't you think a bit extreme uh, just one thing I think you're being followed. Detective Bro also says that he thinks we're being followed. I don't know why this is a plot point. They just say that we should wait until midnight before leaving. I mean, I'm sure it'll pay off, you know, Chekhov's follower, as they say, but no. <laughs> it instantly goes back to sleep. This bro needs his beauty sleep. The Witcher is taking his time. Wow, would you look at that? It's Chekhov's followers. No matter. Seems true. I assume the trap is set. They set a trap? How nefarious of them! Oh, Professor, I would never expect such behavior from I'll you! The matter to our best agent. What? They thought we had left! Geralt, why are you coming? Oh, okay, we're just gonna kill them, but like, what's the point of us waiting till midnight to leave if we're gonna fight them anyways? 
Like they were ready to leave, they thought we were not here. Now this is the third video in the series, and I reckon it's time to talk about the combat in The Witcher 1. And well, it's bad. I know I can't compare it to modern titles, obviously the game came out in 2007, so it could be worse. But it could certainly be better as well. Now the basic gist is that unlike other games where you beat the left mouse button like it owes you money, The Witcher 1's combat is basically a never-ending and unchanging QTE event. That's quick time event event for any RAS enjoyers. So this is how it goes. You click on your next victim, and then Geralt starts doing his silly little animation, and you don't click again until you see that silly little sword in the middle on fire! And then you can click and boom, wouldn't you know, you're comboing this innocent grunt that probably gets paid in reals. Now there's obviously a bit more depth to it. You've seen me use potions and witcher signs during combat to elevate my strength, but that all comes down to external strategy and item usage. The mechanical aspect of combat is honestly just limited to click when flame. Geralt, Siegfried. good to see you. Good to see you too, Where buddy. are you going? To the dike. No passage. Captain forbids it. Gentlemen, that's no way to treat a hero. Geralt, the witcher that saved Vizima from a terrible cockatrice. Oh my god, Siegfried, if we were to sculpt your statue, all the marble in the world wouldn't suffice to represent your gargantuan balls right now. You know, sometimes you say something and you're like, why did they just say that? Like, it just comes out, but I, I, I should probably edit that. Honest folk sleep at night. What are you doing on the street? Fortunately, I am not part of honest folk. I am a dishonest... Uh... What's the singular for? Folk it? So what is that? Honest folks. Look, buddy, I'm gonna tell you what I told your friend, alright? I'm not part of this hypothetical honest folk that you guys keep referring to. I'm a dishonest folk it, okay? I'm just a little goofy goober. I'm a dishonest folk it, so please refer to me as what I go by, alright? Put some respect on my name. Alright, I killed your beast. Give me back my items. You killed the cockatrice. Finally. This Take your belongings from the trunk before I sell them. And remember the reward on the cockatrice's yeah, head. Yeah, 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 I'll get to that, I'll get to that. But let me first ask you a couple of questions, Jethro, if you wouldn't mind. Know anything about this salamander prisoner? Why would I tell you? <laughs> the captain would kill me. Maybe I can persuade you. Powder would help. What kind of powder are we talking about here? Like makeup powder? Talcum powder? Powder from Arcane? Like, what's the deal here? Oh, oh. Oh, he needs crack cocaine. If Foltest put a reward on the professor's head, he must detest Salamandra. Minor spelling mistake. It's not royal gold. Privately funded. Interesting. There's also payments for Salamander badges taken from dead bandits. Who is this philanthropist? I can't tell you, but the sponsor's representative spends his evenings at the tavern. I'll check it out. The plot thickens, but I'm not done with you just yet. Why was the professor released from prison? He has powerful friends. Let that be a warning. Don't annoy those more powerful than you. I should be like the city guards. Release criminals whenever someone shakes a coin pouch. Hey, you're still under observation. Besides, someone bailed him out. Completely legal. Who was this benefactor? No idea. Money was transferred from Vivaldi's Dwarven Bank. Impossible to trace. Drop it. I could get into trouble talking like this. The plot is thickening faster than the average anime girl's thighs, and this video is already longer than my usual. I don't want to repeat the last feature video's fiasco. 25 minutes was way too long for a single video, but I won't make the same mistake again. The White Wolf and I have got a long interrogation process ahead of us, and it would be a shame not to dedicate an entire Detective Noir style video to it. Am I a scumbag for splitting this chapter into multiple videos? Maybe. But then again, most people are. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. By the way, if you only know me for my Witcher content, check out my other videos. They're not half bad. See you around.